Holy shit, what is up my lovely people of the world? The world, the universe, is, is conspiring to prevent me from playing Blaze Blue. Let me tell you why. I can't remember exactly when I recorded that. I think it was on, I want to say it was on Tuesday. It might have been on Monday. So I go to sleep on Tuesday night and I wake up Wednesday morning. And I move because like one of the first things I always do is um, I kind of roll over a little bit because my bed is like it's kind of in a corner and so like one side of it is a one long side of it is against the wall and one short side of it is against the wall and so to get out of bed I have to roll to my left and so I kind of start to roll that way and just agonizing pain like I have to hold my breath for a little bit just that kind of like <gasps> mm, oh no oh. Don't do that again. Let's let's not do that again. And I was just like, it killed me. Oh God, it hurt so bad. I think I pinched a nerve in my neck. I'm not 100% sure. But so like, I could not, there was no resting position I could find for my left arm that did not make me want to cry. There was no like any kind of motion was just like, I had to mentally prepare myself to make that motion because it was about to hurt so much. Like it was very sad. Not a fun point, a point of time in my life. Um. And so, but the funny thing, I went onto one of those, it wasn't WebMD, because obviously everybody always has that, you know, there's those memes around WebMD that's like, you enter your symptoms and then you have cancer. And so, I went onto, it wasn't WebMD, but it was a website like that where you can enter your symptoms. And so I put in shoulder pain, neck pain, and arm pain. And it's just like this big alert comes up. You may be experiencing a heart attack. Go see a doctor immediately, like... Motherfucker, I didn't put in chest pain. I didn't put in like increased heart rate, sweating, like, you know, kind of increased pulse. That kind of, well, I guess that's the exact same thing as increased heart rate. But still, like, I didn't put in any of that shit because I think one of the arm pain can actually be a symptom of a heart attack. But like, you're not only going to have arm pain if you're having a heart attack. Like, come on, website, what are you doing to me? But so, because of that, like, I could not use my left arm. For like two days without it hurting like a motherfucker and now it's thankfully that's why i think it's only a pinched nerve because it didn't last for very long um and now it's kind of reduced to the point where like there's still if anybody's worked out and you know like the day after you work out if you work out really hard the day after you have that soreness associated with it. so anything you do you kind of move you know like that whatever associated muscle that you worked out that movement gives you that kind of feeling of soreness you know like you know you push it too hard and it's still in a period of recovery that's what it feels like now so hopefully we're gonna be okay and the reason why I truly hope we're going to be okay is because I'm about to make a mistake I'm about to make a mistake where the hell he's probably gonna be all the way at the bottom almost all the way at the bottom that's right motherfuckers that's right where are we do I have to go all the way down for fuck it let's just do auto why wouldn't random be second current set? I guess that's... Wait, no? What's currents? I don't even know what the fuck that is. Let's make sure this is fine. Cool, we good. Alright. Parameters. We want to make sure that our... Connectivity is two or above. I'd say that's pretty much safe. We don't care about player level. Just give me anyone. We'll probably go with the same area just in case. Show me something. Oh. Oh. Fuck it. I know there's always that thing where like you, you can find a way to make it um kind of chill. Uh-oh. Why am I two bars? With a bunch of Japanese with a couple Japanese rooms. I feel like they're lying to me. I guess I shouldn't have gotten on here. Like, I'm I'm kind of agitated right now that this is happening because I got a burrito sitting next to me that I'm waiting to eat. I forgot to get that's definitely not actually a four bar connection. It's lying to me. I need to wait for it to actually uh, settle down and show me real connections. Let's buy some shit. What can I, 
What should we get? I want to get avatars and accessories. I think I'm going to go with avatars and accessories. We're going to go with that. Okay, Gee Plush. We might equip that. That might be pretty styling. I hate, I hate, I hate the fact you can get duplicates in this shit. It's stupid. There's no reason for it. I mean, obviously I have so little stuff right now that it's irrelevant, but still, it's stupid. Cool. Is it showing me real connections yet? Not really. Oh! I don't feel like a real three bar connection would take that long to connect. Do you? Is it feeling is it feeling a tidbit iffy to anybody else? This is a terrible idea. So right now, I mean, I've barely played him. Like yesterday, I kind of got to a point where I was feeling like, alright, I feel like I'm pretty good right now, and I think I can kind of just, you know, do some random shit, not actually try to play seriously or anything. But maybe I can spend a little bit of time playing Susano. And if you remember what I said about Habiki. One of my criticisms of the character was that it felt like just outside of very specific hit confirms, you were kind of limited in how much of his moveset you could use. But, you know, like corner combos or crouching combos, you had plenty of room to, you know, use different things. But Susano, you're literally prevented from using the majority of his moveset until you unlock it. But he actually does pretty solid damage uh, with his combos and... So because of that, it's like, it's very rare to really uh, get more than like four or five unlocks in a single round. So it's a little weird. We'll see how this goes. Forgot, need to let two hits hit. How did that hit me? Like, isn't that- I'm pretty sure that's an overhead. I stand here. Okay, so they were right. His pokes really are very slow. Nice anti here. Alright, so I can't- I need to stop jumping on this dude. See, the problem is this dude's, like, actually pretty, uh... Seems to be adept with Makoto. And, like, I'm definitely not... What is that? Like, I need to- I need to figure that out. Because, like, I thought it was an overhead, and so I'm blocking it high, but obviously, I'm not blocking it at all. It's just hitting me. What? Oops, shit, I did the wrong move. Shit, I didn't- my move didn't come out! Stop anti-airing me! Do I have his DP? I do. Oops. Shit, his pokes really are super slow. Fuck! I need to figure out which of his pokes, like, I can actually use. Am I- I don't think I'm dead. I'm not sure how much minimum damage this does. It may kill me. This is a good player, though. Damn, that sucks. I would have bursted if I had known. I thought even if they had used Overdrive. But yeah, so like, I need to figure out. I mean, obviously, this dude's played 234 games with Makoto. In this shit. Like, not even out. Who knows what he's played in ranked or player matches. Um, Did somebody fucking... This is what I hate. Okay, no, never... Wait. Oh, no, yeah, they're just being slow. But yeah, like, this is... I kind of... This is why I wish ranked was actually occupied. Um, because I really legitimately hate when, um, somebody can just, like, steal my turn. Same thing with player matches. It's like, I want to play, right? I'm here to play. So let me play. But unfortunately, ever since, uh, Chrono Phantasma, people have just stuck to the online lobbies. They've stuck to, um, the, what am I trying to say? 
They've stuck to lobbies. They've stuck to player matches. Nobody's really played ranked. Like, it was very hard to find ranked matches in Chrono Phantasma as well. Alright, so, number one thing to do, I need to stop jumping on this dude. We know that. But I need to figure out how fast his 2A slash 5A are, because I kept trying to counter poke with 5B. And I know his B moves are slow. I know that for sure. Oh, weird. Huh. I need to find out what happened there exactly. Okay, so his backdash sucks. Alright, okay. Yeah, his backdash is terrible. Alright, cool. We know that now. What? She was gonna keep on coming. <laughs> I haven't quite memorized exactly which moves I get with every single one. Like I know the last one is two three six D, and it also unlocks a distortion, which is good. Terrible idea. Shit. I need to- I, I've lost, like, all blocking ability in this game. I don't have any reactions anymore to overheads and shit. Alright, so that anti-air did not work. Obviously. That was terrible on my- like, I should have killed her off of that. <laughs> but obviously I didn't, but thankfully, everything's fine. Everything's fine. What is this? Oh, it's just having one- yeah. Isn't that- how many- because I know- isn't it after you play ten matches, you get your new color, right? I think that's eight. So, because I haven't played anything outside of what I've recorded, and I believe I played six matches. So two more, and I'm gonna get my color. Is it even possible to get? I've heard people say like those first ten matches determine what you get, but I'm pretty sure like it always locks you in green after those ten matches. I don't know, but I've done pretty well for myself. I've only lost two matches now, right? I don't even, who cares? I mean, I'm, I'm curious to know if it is possible to, like, not be green at the outset. But, you know, it's online. Nothing's on the line. Nobody really... You never know what circumstances. I mean, obviously, this dude's playing a character he's played 200 plus games with. I'm at a bit of a disadvantage here. Um, but you never know if somebody's playing an alt, if somebody's... Smurfing it up, what they're doing. Oh, okay, that was a bad idea. Stop overheading me. Okay, so that counter poke did not work at all. I mean, granted, Makoto has one of the fastest pokes, like, in the game, period. God damn it, I need to learn how to block again. It's pathetic. Like, I have not, not been hit by an overhead. Shit! I meant to barrier, and I fucked up. Because I, I suck. And I still suck. Jesus Christ, I hit, I, like, I'm not sure what happened, because, I mean, I'm sure you heard me hit 75 buttons, and not a single one of them came out. And I'm quite confused by that. Darn, I was kind of, I was halfway hoping I would be out of range of that, just because it would be amusing. Stupid, like, Makoto, the great equalizer is her overdrive. Her overdrive is so good. God damn it, I'm such an idiot. Wow! 
Wow, I can't believe it. Oh my god, that beat like... Oh, man. That was a bad idea to hit a move. Oh my god, that fatals. I didn't know that. Okay, I, yeah, this person is just calling me out in like every single fashion. That hit me. What? I need to look at that. How did that hit me? Like, obviously, my Susano is not ready to fight somebody using their main. But, like, legitimately, how did that hit me? Fuck that, I'm gonna keep using Susano. I was just about to go on to talk about how nobody cares about online, you know, like, whatever. I lose, I lose, so be it. I don't care what my color is, I don't care what my rank is. I'm just here to play, I'm here to learn. And that really, I mean, that's what it is, that's how it is. And I need to learn this character, like, I need to stop. Because the problem is that, like, his regular dash is so off-putting. Because there's that pause before he actually starts moving, and, like... Nobody, that's, it's uncomfortable. It doesn't feel right. Nobody wants that to happen. So it's kind of like, all right, let me instant air dash instead. Let me be in the air because my dashes move me forward immediately versus, you know, whatever the hell's going on here. Um, I also need to learn when I can, because some of his moves, you actually can't cancel into 6D off of. 6D is an overhead, 2D is a low, 5D is just a mid. But some moves he has, like I think 2C is one of them, you can't cancel into 6D off of it. It just forces out 5D. And so I'm expecting an overhead and it would have hit and then, you know, it doesn't hit. And... Okay, I apparently need to pay attention. That was kind of cool. Wait, that didn't hit? Shit. See, like that's not that's not hard to block. Yeah, that person this person has not been respecting me on wake up at all. A single time. They've always done something. So when I have my DP available, I can definitely body them. Oh shit, I didn't think they could get over it that easily. I cannot like they keep calling me out so hard on that. Stop using his back dash, it sucks. Man, I, kill, I tried to actually call it out that time. <laughs> Intentional? Mind games? But see, like, that's that's the big thing about a lot of shit. I need to actually... I want to look... What the hell is this? I got a brown paper bag. Wait, what is this? I've never actually seen this. Huh. I don't know what that is. Oh, chips. Should not my color by now? Should not be God like oh dear that salsa is upside down. Nope, they're in a good, they're in a good little thingy. Actually, you know what I'm thinking? You know what I'm wondering? None of you even give a shit about this. I don't know how many of you guys are actually in California. Yay. California passed a proposition that actually banned plastic bags. But I don't know how far that extends. Like, grocery stores have already had to take them off. Like, they're all... I Because I work in a bunch of grocery stores for the job that I do. And all of them just have, like, pallets in the back of plastic bags that they can't use anymore. Um, 
But then, like, I got a plastic bag from the Mexican restaurant that I went to today. Do those fall under the whole thing? Like, we it's it's crazy. I actually didn't know. Um, I thought it was only to ban plastic bags, but it actually bans plastic bags, and they charge you for paper bags now. Whoa! Dick move, bruh. That's what I should use with this character. Holy shit! Oh, I forgot about that fucking bounce. Okay, I can't counter mash out of that. Well, at least not with a button I pressed. Maybe with an A button. See, this dude's scared of the DP now. The mind games. Like, he's actually legitimately, he's not doing anything anymore. He's legit. Oh my god, I tried to counter mash and it didn't come out. I'm dead. At least I should be. I'm not. But yeah, see how scared he is? Does that? Never mind. Ever since I did that single DP, this person has not pressured me once on wake up. Don't do that. Don't let people intimidate you like that. Damn, he's so goddamn, his pokes are so slow. Oh, that just completely... <laughs> Fuck! That annoys me. Oh my god, I suck! I am so my neutral with this character right now. It's so utterly shit. It's his dash, man. I keep wanting to micro dash forward to put myself in position for shit, and then it just doesn't fucking work. Fuck! Fuck! I need to stop trying to backdash on wake up. This dude doesn't have a backdash. That was damn it! I would have actually if I had, I had tried to block. I mean, I tried to barrier. I tried to barrier block and it came out as a second jab. That sucks. Cause I did I called that out. Like obviously, especially a lot of a lot of players think um I mean it's not a bad move to do overdrive straight into ex uh, exceed excel, whatever. Um oh, do I need to do Danke schön, mein Freund. However the fuck you say that. Um I want to go check out. Oh, so I have my. I guess I have been getting some amount of money. What's the connection? Come on, Nikki the Rat. Snitches get stitches, motherfucker. And I. Nope. I am not the delivery man. That is not me. Is this somebody who role plays in Otaku? That doesn't sound like a fun pastime. Pass a tempi. In Italian? That's right, I'm multilingual, motherfuckers. At an incredibly basic level, and I would not be able to hold a conversation with anybody in German, Italian, or honestly English. <laughs> God damn it, nobody plays. It makes me so sad. Um You know what? I'm good. I'm actually I'm good with those matches, because obviously I need to really I mean you saw I was very, very basic with him. I actually didn't use and did I I did not use any of his special moves except for 236A. And so that's a big thing with me is... Oh, no, I did use his, uh... I always have to think for a second. 623C, uh, his DP, I use that. But so I really need to... Like, I know almost I know which of his moves are which. So, like, I know... Obviously, the first one is 236A. That's unlocked from the get-go. It's one of the most important ones. And I actually... That's why you see me do a lot of, like... 
at the start of a round if I think somebody won't do anything that'll beat it. I'll just do this because that gives me level 2, 2, 3, 6, A, which is really good. Level 3, 2, 3, 6, A is fantastic. Like, that's really good. It gives you great combo extensions. Um, the second one is the DP. The third one, I think the third one's Megalith, right? If I'm remembering that correctly. I believe the third one is Megalith. I guess I can do this. Yeah, that's... It does... You can do stuff of it. Like, I think this works, right? Yeah. And then I believe when it's powered up... No. What was it? What was it that I found that you could combo off? There was something that I found. Maybe you had to be leveled up. Hang on. Because I think it goes to level 3, right? Yeah. So maybe you have to be leveled up to do it. So let me try this again. Yeah, so at level 3, you can actually get a combo off of that off of... Because 6D is an overhead. And as you can... Like, it's a pretty damn fast overhead. That's... That's okay. Like, that's not slow. This slow? Mad fast. That's a really good overhead. And so being able to have that level, level 3 Megalith and then you can juggle off of it, that's good. But are you really going to get to level 3 Megalith in a match to make that worthwhile? Um, Number 4, I want to say that's 236B, right? Or no, I'm sorry, 214B, right? 236B is the level 5 one that I... Or not level 5, the 5th one that I just did. And I think it's 214B before that. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, that's the thing that I always fuck up. I always mix... I know that which move goes where, but I always forget what the command is. And so I like, I always think, oh, cool, I have 236B now. Wait, why isn't it working? Shit, have I fucked up? And it's just because I never... I always switch the commands in my head. This one I always forget. And then these two I know, except I need to remember that I get that, uh, that from... But, so, from what I kind of have gathered from Susano. Getting his, I mean, 236A is a fantastic move, but you don't really need to power it up. It gives you good mid-screen options because it gives you uh, that little juggle afterwards. But if you're in the corner and you score a not well, I can't wait. Let me reset. Let me reset in the corner. Um, even off a of level one, you can still do. Shit. I'm pretty sure you can do this. I would have sworn on my mother's life that you could do 2A2C after that. When you're in the corner off of a knockdown. Like, I know off of that it works because you have that additional air time. Okay? Or am I just fucking stupid? I never wait for the second hit. It always takes two. I swear to God, that works. Don't you make a fool of me in front of everybody. I have never done that before. Seriously? Like, I know for level two it works, but I would have sworn. I guess not. Huh. I would have sworn, because like I said, off of uh, level two, it absolutely works, because you get more hang time off of it, so you can do that kind of stuff. But you can also do... Um, just 5A, and that, I thought that didn't work. I thought it was 5A that required level 2, but you could do... I thought I had done that before, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's even character-specific, because Jin does have... Like, Asriel has a corner-specific combo that he can only do on Jin and Iz... Or not Izanami. Jin and Izayoi. I'm not sure if that's changed, if other characters have been added to that. But if they're high enough, you can actually land 2D as they're falling, and then link a 2A into that afterwards. It's actually, it's really cool. But it's, that's Jin and Izzy always specific. So I don't know if maybe Jin's fucking it up. Well, we can test that, obviously. Let's just go ahead and throw Noel in there. Oh, help. Let me just think, because I swear that, I swear this worked. I guess I'm just full of shit. And I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm full of shit. I would have sworn on anybody's life that that would have worked. And it, I guess it doesn't. But so, okay, so I guess level two of that, very important. So that's one of the, like I mentioned, one of the first things I'll kind of try to do is just hit one button and then go into D or like, you know, just do that right at the start of the round so that I get level two because that's really important for corner combos. The other one that I find very important that I actually really need to, um... Well, I fucked it up. I need to pay better attention. I'll just get it normally. This is also... This move is incredible. It gives you so much. Joe, what? That didn't hit, really? What does he do? I'm trying to think. Hema. Hema. 
that. It gives you it gives you the best juggles in the corner, I think, that uh, he has off of this move. And then you can also, you know, just combo that into this shit, which is amazing. It actually works, like, really far away, too. Really far away. I believe I believe it'll work from here, even. Are you gonna exp- can you- can, can- oh no, you can't special cancel that, that's a bummer. Like, that would be fucking amazing if you could do that. Probably off a counter hit, you might actually be able to link it, let me check. But I mean, this is all the stuff that obviously I need to do and I haven't really done. So like, I've sat down and I've, um... Yeah, that does work, cool. Um, I mean, obviously it wouldn't work like full screen, but if I'm like here, I think it'll work. I believe it has this kind of hitbox. That moves me forward quite a bit as well, actually. Look at that. Can you actually link the, uh... The timing on this is so strange. Damn it. Holy shit! Um... But yeah, so like, th I think those two moves, getting powered up 236A and 236D, are probably the most vital. Defensively, getting his deep I mean you saw, like I've just I have now know that his backdash is absolute shit. He doesn't have any defensive options unless you unlock this. Then you get 236C, which is a DP. Um, and that, as far as I'm aware, that's like really his only defensive option. Uh that second to last one, it gets you this command grab. Oops, I'm sorry, I did the wrong direction. Which actually, like, I don't think it's terrible. Because, I mean, look how fast he runs forward after you init. He doesn't have that very big tell. But that's not terrible, and you can rapid cancel it uh, to get, like, an actual combo off of it if you want. Um, but so, like I, like I said, I kind of, I know which of his moves are unlocked by which parts. Uh, the only one I still kind of have to think about is the third to last one, which unlocks, um, let me just, I can, may as well just wait, shit. Okay, yeah. Which is this shit. You mash on C and you get that nonsense. And you can actually, you can't combo off of it. I believe you juggle. So it's not terribly bad because you do get a little bit of a juggle off of it. But like, in comparison to what you get off of almost every other one of his special moves, not really worth it. It's just the problem is like I mentioned with Hibiki, it's, um, or like I mentioned earlier, comparing him to Hibiki, where... My big problem with Hibiki was just, let me say Hibiki at least a few more times. My big problem with him was that it felt like you were so limited on which parts of his moveset you could use at which times. You couldn't really kind of freeform and do things on your own. Whereas with Susano, you absolutely can. Like, you can use this basically whenever you want. You can use this instead. You can do um, this move. And, like, there's so you, there are so many different applications to each of his moves. But the probability of actually unlocking more than, like, again, three or four of them in a single round is minuscule. And I'm not sure how much I like that, that so much of his moveset is locked away from you um, from the get-go. And it is kind of like an intentional limitation of the character, because I do think, with all of his tools unlocked, he's one of the best characters in the game. I don't think he's top tier at all. I don't think he's S tier, but I think he's A tier, for sure. But the problem is that... The moves are locked at the beginning, and so you're starting off with a subpar character who has no good defensive options. Like, it doesn't really have a good counter poke. Like, that's, that seems decently fast. I guess his A's are pretty decent, but, like, his regular, um, like, these moves, they're very slow. Especially his C moves are very slow. I need to figure out actually how good of an anti-air this is, and I need to put it into work. Because it actually, it seems to have a pretty solid hitbox where it can kind of hit a little bit behind him as well, which is really good for an anti-air. Um... But I'm not sure how the invincibility is. Like, I, I got stuffed by Makoto a couple of times, but my timing was not very good. Because it was kind of... It's one of those things where it's like... When you're trying to use a new character, you kind of... If you have an understanding of the character and what their tools are and what you should be doing... You generally know what to do, but... You tend to react a little bit slower because you're not... You don't... It's not just muscle memory at that point. Like, oh, they're in the air and approaching me. 2C. Yeah. It's kind of like, oh, they're in the air and approaching me. What do I do? Oh, that's right. 2C. Yeah. So you have that split second pause, which can be all the difference in timing that's necessary to cause a fuck up like that. Um, but anyway, so I hope you enjoyed that little bit of stuff. I obviously, like I said, I have a lot of work to do in order to put, uh, actually use him properly. I mean, like I said, there was a big, if you're interested in Susano, by the way, 
and you do not know who Jordal is, you don't pay attention to him, you should. He posts a bunch of high level, like as far as I'm aware, what he does is he takes streams that have been on Nico video and puts them on uh, his channel on YouTube so it's easier to access because with Nico video, you either need to use that MM Cafe like account bypass thing or you need to actually have an account to be able to watch their videos. You can't just, you know, like go on and lurk like so many people do without logging into an account. Um, and so he posts them, you know, easy to access on his stream of high level Japanese gameplay. And he recently posted a set, like an hour long set between Dora Bang and Hima, who is, he was using Susano, and he's, I mean, he kind of, he kind of showed off exactly what I was talking about, where Susano's a very good, he's very, very good, very strong when he gets his offense started, and he has the ability, and he has the opportunity to unlock numerous uh, of his special skills, but once he's put on the defensive, he looked pretty hopeless, like he didn't really, he was just praying that he was able to block Bang's pressure and have a moment where he can get out and there really just was not any breathing room for him because he couldn't counter poke. Bang obviously has some of the fastest pokes in the game and his pressure is amazing and so like he looked kind of hopeless once he got put on the defensive and that's a scary thing in an anime fighting game to be pretty hopeless on the defensive. It's really, it's not a good feeling with the amount of uh, options people have for their pressure and for their mix-up like you don't you want to have something that can be an answer to that and like i said i need to try counter poking with his 5a or his 2a to see whether or not that's viable because i kept trying to counter poke with like these moves and i mean obviously like look at that look how slow that is that is not going to counter poke anybody um and this is still you know somewhat slow but these these look pretty decent those look like they have it just it kind of depends on it that's another thing really i need to Oh boy, because once he gets moving, he moves. But it's just that little bit of a pause at the beginning that really gives me pause. <laughs> oh, that's another thing I actually really need to... Because I assume that'll probably work off of just this right here. Okay. But not if I do... Not if I do that one. Okay. So that's another thing I need to do is make sure that, you know, I'm not missing out on... Because I think this is safe on block, plus you can always do that. And I need to... I really need to start special canceling that. Oh, I need to actually remember that that's not a knockdown. Can I, like, can I link a... No, it doesn't look like it. But it is special cancelable, so I can't do stuff on it. But yeah, like, that's really... Sh that's... So I think that's actually one of his strongest tools. I, like I said, because you can't... Oh, you can't cancel the first one. Wait. Is it this? The... Oh, it's 5C. All right, I thought it was 2C for some reason. So it's 5C that you can't cancel into 6D off of. But you can do it off of 2C. Can you do it off of... Because you can do it off of 5D as well. Can you do it? No, you can't. All right, that would be dirty. To be able to do it like straight from 2D. Anyway, like, I mean, I got a lot of optimization things to look at, a lot of different things to work on. And, you know, hopefully I'll get there, because I am, aside from, again, just the kind of not liking how you're fairly limited, and that, but that's, that's not affecting me now. I'm limiting myself because I don't have the knowledge necessary yet to actually use him properly when I do unlock his moves. So it's, you know, once I actually get better with him and more accustomed to, like, just knowing what I've unlocked, you know, like being able to just glance at it and know immediately, alright, I have this, this, and this, and I can't use these different things, rather than kind of like having to look at it and be like, okay, the third one is, oh, that's right, it's his, it's that one, but you know, that kind of thing, just knowing that I have that. So once I get there, we'll see how my opinion goes. Hope you enjoyed. Peace.